Do you want to know how to make Greek meatballs that are loaded with Mediterranean flavor? A healthy meatballs recipe that's made with ground turkey, fresh herbs, and can easily be cooked in a skillet or baked in the oven. Hey there, I'm London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com where you learn how to make nourishing meals for you and your loved ones. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these easy Greek turkey meatballs. They're seriously like little flavor bombs of Mediterranean goodness that I'm sure you, your family, and your friends are going to absolutely love. So if you're ready to get to cooking, then come on in and let's get started. Let's first start off by mixing together our meatball ingredients. For this recipe, I'll be using a ground turkey that's 93% lean and 7% fat. A 90-10 or 98-2 may also be used. Ground chicken, beef, or pork can be substituted as well. Place the ground turkey in a large bowl, along with one large room temperature egg that has been whisked. Half a cup of plain breadcrumbs. Regular or panko style breadcrumbs may be used. A gluten-free brand is being used in this recipe. You can also always use a low-carb breadcrumb or ground pork rinds if you're on a keto diet. Next, we'll be adding in those fresh herbs. Both mint and parsley give these meatballs that lovely herbaceous flavor. While spearmint is the most authentic mint variety to use, sweet mint is easily found at your grocery store and can be substituted but definitely make sure you avoid using peppermint. For the parsley, curly leaf parsley is the most authentic type used in the Mediterranean cuisine, but flat leaf parsley can be used if that's what you have on hand. Finely chop the mint and parsley until you have two tablespoons of each. Add the mint and parsley to the bowl, along with half cup of finely diced red onion, half to three fourths teaspoon of salt to taste and one tablespoon of Greek seasoning. This homemade Greek seasoning blend is what I'm using here today. If you wanna know how to make it, you can learn how at the video right up here. But if you're short on time, you can always just grab a store-bought Greek seasoning mix instead. Use a spatula to mix all of the ingredients together. Now that our meatball mixture is all combined, it's time to start rolling it into balls. But before you start doing that, if you've got any rings on, you might wanna go ahead and take them off and put them in a safe place because this next part can get a little messy. You'll want to scoop out about two tablespoons of mixture for one meatball. If you've ever had trouble with your meatballs sticking all over your hands, then I've got a little trick for you. I found that a quick spritz of nonstick cooking spray on your hands makes the meatball mixture slide right off. Roll the mixture into a round ball and place on a separate plate. Repeat this process with the remaining mixture. You should get about 20 meatballs. This last step is completely optional and you only wanna do it if you're actually cooking your meatballs in a skillet and not baking them in the oven. Place three tablespoons of an all-purpose flour into a shallow bowl. Roll the meatballs in it to create a light coating. Shake off any excess flour. Doing this will give you a beautiful and crusty sear on the outside of your meatballs. Once all of these are prepared, you can either choose to bake them in the oven or cook them in a skillet. While baking them in the oven definitely is less hands-on and cleanup is a little bit easier, the outside of the meatballs will be a bit softer and not quite as crisp as if you'd cook them in a skillet. To bake them in the oven, you'll want to line a large baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Place meatballs evenly spaced on the baking sheet. Bake in a preheated 375 degree oven for 18 to 22 minutes, flipping halfway through. To cook them on the stovetop, place a large stainless steel or nonstick skillet over medium heat. Add one to two tablespoons of olive or avocado oil and place 10 of the meatballs in a single layer. Cook for seven to nine minutes, turning every few minutes. You'll know the meatballs are done cooking when the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. Serve these Greek meatballs with a sprinkle of fresh parsley and a side of tzatziki sauce. Store these in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to three to four days. Oh yeah. 
Oh my gosh, they're literally bursting with Mediterranean flavors and they're so hearty and filling, you can serve them up for a main dish or even as an appetizer. If you want to complete your Mediterranean meal, make sure you check out these other easy Greek recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out, y'all. I'll see you again soon.